Hey guys, Brian, SoCal Supermoto. Just camped at the track, just woke up. Here's a quick tip. Uh, this week we're just gonna go over what type of seat for Supermoto. So we've just got three different kinds of seats lined up here. Uh, talk about what we like, what we don't like, what you might like, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. So starting off, we have a aftermarket seat. This is a seat concepts. All these ones aren't ones that we bought, they just kind of came on bikes that we, that we bought along the way. Um, what's nice about the seat concepts, I haven't tested what it's meant for, which is kind of like longer enduro riding or longer street rides. We just use it at the track. What's good about it is that it's still narrow up front. So if you're in any kind of technical stuff or you're riding, doing any real riding, you can still get the bike to be relatively narrow up front and relatively wide in the back. Track use is not my call, but I can see really digging this as a street seat. So we'll just leave it at that. If your butt hurts and you ride on the street a lot, there you go, seat concepts. Next up is a gripper seat. So a lot of motocross riders use gripper seats. A lot of supermoto riders use them. This one's just a normal gripper cover. It doesn't have those extra um, stopper gripper things in them. Uh, personally, I absolutely hate gripper seats, but it's totally personal preference. I can't ride with them. My riding style, one, my riding style is to kind of move around on the seat and kind of slide from side to side. Two, gripper seats from I found give you mad monkey butt. If you don't know what monkey butt is, it's when you get red inflammation down your butt crack and it's horrible. If you ever get it, Preparation H works awesome. Really typical of motocross riders and enduro riders to um, have issues with that. If you're having issues with that, uh, I wouldn't go with a gripper seat. Um, if you like a gripper seat, buy a gripper seat. So there's no uh, right or wrong here. It's really gonna have to try it out and uh, see what you like. You can also get a gripper cover and put it on an OEM seat if you wanna try it out. I have friends that race Supermoto that can't ride without a, a gripper seat. And next up, my personal favorite bone stock Suzuki DRZ seat. Honestly, they're the best balance of having a little bit of grip, being able to move around on it, being comfortable, um, being able to get up on the bike. Honestly, I think they're amazing. I don't know why people get aftermarket seats. I mean, definitely if you're doing some distance stuff or like I said, you have a preference. But um, I think before you mod anything on your bike, just ask like, do I really need to? I mean, sometimes things are good enough. And me personally, I love the stock seat, but uh, there's no way for me to tell you what's gonna work for you. So I don't know why we're doing this video, um, but you're gonna have to just try them out and see what you like and experiment with it. All right, that's today's quick tip. Seats for Supermoto. Supermoto. Uh, usually we do this on the second or third session, but this is the first dirt session, so we're gonna have some baby sends on this one. We're just stoked. I uh, got three or four riders, first time ever riding dirt, so we'll see if they send it right out of the right out of the gate. Send it, Cam. Woo! Yeah, get it, get a boy. Woo! Yeah, send it. That was yesterday's crew, clearly, because they were sending it. Yeah, get it! Oh man, we already got to do. We already got to send her down. Supermoto here with the corner camp. The update today, there's no update. It's the same as it always is. It's beautiful out here. It's sunny. We have a smallish 13, 14 riders today. Without further ado, corner camp. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, I like the dude, uh, neutral body style. Nailed the apex, looking smooth. Looking super solid. So great, great group out here today. Here comes the second posse coming through momentarily. Corner cam. Yeah. 
that, Benny? Connor, do 